What's up guys and welcome to another transfer video on the channel. First of all, I hope you guys have a good day and you already know there's no intro. we will go straight to the news. But before that, you already know as well, let me ask you if we can reach 350 likes in this video. So please smash the like button, don't forget to leave a like as well and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Enjoy the video guys, let's go! Ok guys, welcome to another transfer video, we're gonna start with some confirmations, you already know, Japanese attacker Daishi Kamada has signed a new deal at Eintracht Frankfurt, which will keep him at the club until 2023. Newcastle United forward Yoshinori Muto has completed a loan move to Spanish side A bar. Aston Villa have confirmed the signing of Emiliano Martinez from Arsenal in a 22 million euros deal. The 28 year old signed a contract that will keep him at the Premier League club until 2024. Borja Valero has joined Fiorentina on a free transfer from Internazionale. Villarreal signs Stupina on a 7 year deal for 16 million euros. Somerville has completed his move to Leeds United, the 18 year old impressed in the Eredivisie while on loan last season and decided to leave Feyenoord because the Rotterdam side would not guarantee playing time. Ex Barcelona defender Murillo is returning to Celta from Sampdoria according to Gianluca Di Marzio, the Colombian who enjoyed the loan spell at Camp Nou in 2019 spent the second half of 2020 with Celta on loan from the Italians and is now going back to La Liga on another temporary deal with them. Southampton's Jack Stephens is set to pen a new four-year deal with the club, claims Talk Sport. The 26-year-old's extension will keep him at St. Mary's until the summer of 2024. Leicester City has completed a loan move for Ender from Rome with an obligation to buy the Turkish player at the end of the next season for 24 million euros. Derby County have announced the signing of Kamil Josbika from Lech Poznan. The 22 year old Poland international has signed a four year deal with the championship side. Gareth Bale has sealed the return to Tottenham from Real Madrid claims the Daily Mail. The Wales attacker has agreed to return to Spurs on a season-long loan worth more than 14 million euros with Los Blancos set to finance some of the move. An official announcement is expected soon, with no Tottenham player to depart the club as part of the deal following reports Dele Alli could be heading to Santiago Bernabeu. Talking about the Spurs, Tottenham has completed the signing of Reguilon for 30 million euros with all the clauses that Real Madrid wanted. The contract is already signed and the player will fly to London today, official announcement soon. Ok guys and to finish the confirmations, Thiago Alcantara to Liverpool is now a done deal, Bayern Munich always asked for 30 million euros add-ons included as a price tag and they are gonna get it. Liverpool accepted to pay after Jurgen Klopp pushing to get Thiago. And now we start with the rumors guys, Olympic Lyonnais sporting director Juninho insisted there have been no offers for Awar or Barcelona target Memphis Depay. Awar 22 has been linked with the likes of Manchester City, PSG, Arsenal and Chelsea, while the 26 year old Depay has reportedly agreed to join La Liga giant Barcelona. But Juninho says the league inside are yet to receive official offers for either player so far this summer. Celtic are reading a third B to sign Shortland left back Alfie Duggy, according to Football Insider. The Scottish champions are said to have had two bids for the 20 year old turned down by the London club, but are reportedly still confident of signing him during this transfer window. Their latest bid is reportedly one of 870,000 euros plus add ons, as they aim to replace the disgraced Bolly Bologni, who has been loaned to Istanbul BB following his coronavirus breach. Bayer Leverkusen are keen on signing Arsenal defender Kolasinac, Sport Build reports. The Bosnia's Govina International has fallen out of favor under Mikel Arteta at the Emirates Stadium, with the likes of Kieran Tierney and Maitland Niles seemingly ahead of him in the packing order. And Leverkusen are apparently now interested in taking the 27 year old back to the Bundesliga, with Schalke and Rome also in the hand for the player, who is available for as little as 10 million euros. Manchester United are considering a move for Atalanta winger Ahmad Traoré, the Manchester Evening News reports. 
Only Solskjaer's side apparently see the Ivory Coast forward as an alternative to Jadon Sancho, whom the Red Devils are pushing hard to sign from Dortmund. United have reportedly been warned that Traore will not be available on the chip, with the Premier League side having made contact with Atalanta to register their interest. Sheffield United manager Chris Wilder has confirmed that the club are interested in signing Arsenal forward Florin Balogun. Reports have claimed that the South Yorkshire club have had a 3 million euros approach rejected amid speculation Arsenal want a deal worth in the region of 17 million euros for the 19-year-old. Wilder, who has been linked with the move for Liverpool striker Ryan Brewster, confirmed talks are ongoing to bring Balogun to Bramall Lane. Newcastle right-back DeAndre Yedlin could be set for a move back to MLS, according to CBS Sports. The 27-year-old came up with the Seattle Sounders before making a move to Tottenham following the 2014 World Cup. Having fallen out of Newcastle's first-choice lineup, Yedlin may be ready to move back to the US once again. Several Chelsea higher-ups have concerns that Declan Rice is not worth the 80 million euros fee he would require according to The Athletic. The West Ham midfielder was released from Stanford Bridge six years ago due to technical problems and some believe those problems are still present. Chelsea boss Frank Lampard though would love to add the 21-year-old to his list of major summer acquisitions. Aston Villa are eyeing a move for Brentford left-back Rico Henry, according to The Sun. The 23-year-old has emerged as one of the top fullbacks in the championship and helped lead the Bees to the playoff final last year, where they fell to Fulham. A number of other Premier League teams, including West Ham, have shown an interest in Henry. According to Telefoot, Arsenal is reading a 40 million euros bid for Awar. Mikel Arteta has made the creative midfielder his top priority to join the Gunners this summer, but Olympic Lyonnais is asking for 60 million euros. Barcelona are set to win the race for USA fullback Sergino Des from Ajax. Bayern Munich and Man City were looking at 19-year-old who came through the youth system of Ajax, but apparently the blog runners look set to sign him. Like we talked about a few news ago, Arsenal defender Kolasinac is attracting interest from Bayer Leverkusen, Rome and Schalke according to Sport Build. The Gunners are eager to cash in on the 27-year-old and he could be allowed to leave the Emirates for around 10 million euros. Kolasinac's favorite destination is to return to Germany with Leverkusen set to hold concrete talks this week about the move. Inter are contemplating a move for Manchester United defender Chris Smalling after Rome failed to secure a permanent deal claims Calcio Mercato. The Red Devils won 20 million euros for Smalling and Inter believe they could be able to capitalize on their good relationship with the Red Devils to strike a better deal. Barcelona head coach Ronald Koeman has insisted that Luis Suarez will not be frozen out of his squad if he stays at the club. After taking over from Kike Setien in August, Koeman determined he had no place in his squad for the veteran striker. There have been several clubs interested in the 33-year-old, including his former side Ajax and Italian champions Juventus. Tottenham defender Danny Rose is set to sign for Serie A side Genoa, reports the Mirror. The 30-year-old has been frozen out at Spurs and Genoa are in advanced talks to seal a permanent move for the Englishman. Rome attacker Diego Perotti is wanted by Turkish giant Fenerbahce, according to Gianluca Di Marzio. The Argentine is set to cost just 2.5 million euros with the Serie A side keen to save money by offloading his high wages. And to finish the video guys, Thomas Tuchel believes Draxler can develop into an important player for PSG, but he offered no guarantees the attacker would stay at the club. It's football, we can't guarantee anything. During the transfer window, we can't guarantee things because maybe the next day, Things will be different, Tuchel said after the win over Mets. Drexler has quality for sure. In football, you have to show your qualities every day. It's important at that level. You have to be ready to suffer, to be present and to be crucial for your team. We reached the end of the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. You already know our goal for today's video is 350 likes. So please smash the like button. Don't forget to leave a like. It is really, really important for me and for this new channel to grow. Also, it is really, really important if you could drop a comment down below 
and subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you want to keep following me and watching my content. Today we have double upload, so stay tuned. I'm Defaults and I'll see you guys in the next video.